which logger buffer size is best for Android. If you're an Android developer or just someone who likes to tweak their device for better performance, you might have wondered about the ideal logger buffer size. Let's break it down to help you make the most of your device's logging capabilities. First, what is a logger buffer size? It's the amount of memory allocated to store log data. This buffer works on a first-in, first-out principle, meaning when it's full, new logs overwrite the oldest ones. This is why choosing the right size is important. On Android devices, the default logger buffer size is often too small, leading to log truncation. For instance, on some emulators, the default size is 64 kilobytes, which can result in logs being truncated very quickly. To determine the best buffer size for your device, you need to consider a few things. First, monitor how often your device generates logs under normal and peak conditions. Then, estimate the size of each log entry. This depends on the type and extent of information each log carries. Here's a simple way to calculate the optimal size. Multiply the logging frequency, logs per second, by the size of each log entry to get the required buffer size per second. Then decide how long you want to keep the logs before they are overwritten and multiply the buffer size per second by this retention period in seconds. Now, let's talk about how to adjust the logger buffer size on your Android device. You can do this through the developer options in your settings. To enable developer options, go to settings, then about phone, and tap the build number seven times. Once enabled, navigate to developer options, scroll down to the logger buffer size option, and choose a size that suits your needs. You can select sizes ranging from off to 16 megabytes. Setting the logger buffer size to a larger value can help prevent log truncation, but it also consumes more memory. For example, if you set it to 16 netbytes, it will use more of your device's memory, but ensure you don't lose vital log data. On the other hand, setting it to a smaller size or even turning it off can save memory but increase the chances of log truncation. In summary, the best logger buffer size for your Android device depends on your logging needs and the available memory. By monitoring your log generation frequency and log entry size, you can calculate an optimal buffer size that balances resource usage and data retention. Adjusting this setting through developer options can help you manage your logs more efficiently and ensure you don't miss important log data.